Hello and welcome to a video presentation on estimating with percents. Here's what you'll learn. How to estimate when using percentages. When an exact answer to a problem isn't required, we can use an estimate. Estimation gets us fairly close to an actual answer. Some words that let you know an estimated answer is acceptable are about, approximately, and of course estimate. Now there's a common misconception about estimation I'd like to address right up front. Many people believe estimating is figuring out an exact answer then rounding that exact answer. However, it's just the opposite. What you want to do is change the numbers you will be using to get your estimated answer. You see, if it was easy to determine an exact answer with the original numbers, there would be no need to find an estimated answer. Many percentages can be easily converted to fractions, making the problems easier to solve. See if you can figure out the fractional representation of some of these common percents. Let's start with 50%. We know percent means out of 100, so we can set up a fraction of 50 over 100. But we know we can make it simpler. It reduces to 1 half. 25% is 25 out of 100, and that reduces to 1 quarter. 75% is 75 out of 100, and that reduces to 3 quarters. 10% is 10 over 100. That reduces to 1 tenth. 20% is 20 out of 100. That reduces to 1 fifth. And finally, 33% is 33 out of 100, and that's very close to 1 third. Now let's take a look at some examples. Let's estimate 47% of 32. With estimation problems, we don't have to use the numbers given, but we should use numbers that are close to the actual numbers. The numbers we use should be easy to calculate in our heads. Now, using a calculator, I figured out that 47% of 32 is exactly 15.04, so our estimate should be very close to that number. The word of between numbers means multiply. So we can solve this problem by multiplying. Finding 47% of most numbers is rather difficult. But 47% is close to 50%, which we know is one half. And finding 50% or half of a number, that's pretty easy. So let's set up our estimation problem. We will find one half of, which means multiplied by, 32. One half multiplied by 32 can also be written as 32 divided by 2. Half of 32, or 32 divided by 2, is 16, which turns out to be very close to the actual answer of 15.04. Now let's estimate 34% of 20. Again, with estimation problems, we don't have to use the numbers given but we should use numbers that are close to the actual numbers. The numbers we use should be easy to calculate in our heads. Again, using a calculator, I figured out that 34% of 20 is exactly 6.8, so our estimate should be close to 6.8. The word of between the numbers means multiply, so we can solve this problem by multiplying. Finding 34% of most numbers is rather difficult, but 34% is close to 33%, which we know is about one-third. Finding one-third of a number can be pretty easy, as long as the number is easily divisible by 3. Now, 20 isn't divisible by 3, but is there a number near 20 that is divisible by 3 that we could use instead? In fact, we can use 21. So, let's set up our estimate to find one-third of 21. Again, one-third multiplied by 21 can also be written as 21 divided by 3. One-third of 21, or 21 divided by 3, 
is 7, which is very close to our actual answer of 6.8. Now let's work a word problem. Gaming Getaway has a popular video game on sale for 25% off the regular price of $38.99. The Replay Place has the same game for $32.99. Using estimation, which store has the better price on the game? Now we know that Replay Place's price for the game is about $33. So let's write that off to the left hand side here. And in order to compare the two stores' prices, we have to know how much Gaming Getaway's sale price is. Let's use the right side of the screen for Gaming Getaway's calculations. Now we know the discount is 25%, so we have to figure out the amount of the discount, then subtract that amount from the regular price, $38.99. Now determining 25% or a quarter of $38.99 would require a calculator or at least a pencil and paper. But since the problem is telling us to use estimation, we'll use a number close to $38.99 that makes the problem easy to do in our heads. If we use $40 for $38.99, then the problem is very easy. We set up our problem as one quarter of 40. Now one quarter multiplied by 40 can also be written as 40 divided by 4. One quarter of 40 or 40 divided by 4 gives us 10. Now remember, that's not the sale price. It's the discount, the amount that is being taken off of the regular price. So we have to subtract this $10 from our original $40 to get the approximate sale price at Gaming Getaway of $30. Now compare the prices at each store. Replay Place's price is $33, Gaming Getaway's price is $30. So we discover Gaming Getaway currently has the best price on the video game. Another way to estimate with percents is to figure out a simpler percent, like 1%, 5%, or 10% of a number, then multiply up from there to get to the percentage you're looking for. Finding 10% of a number is fairly easy. It involves moving the decimal in the number just one place to the left. Finding 5% of a number is just half of the 10% figure. And finally, finding 1% of a number is also easy. It involves moving the decimal in the number two places to the left. Let's take a look at an example. Let's find 10%, 5%, and 1% of the number 200. First, locate the decimal in the number 200. So let's write down the number 200. We know the decimal's at the end if we don't see any other decimal point. To find 10% of this number, just move the decimal one place to the left, like that. So 10% of 200 is 20. Since 5% is half of 10%, 5% of 200 would be 10. Now finally, let's find 1% of this number. We're going to move the decimal two places to the left. So let's write down our number 200 again with the decimal point at the end and move the decimal two places to the left, once and twice. So 1% of 200 is 2. Now let's estimate 19% of 71. Again, since we're estimating, we can decide what numbers to keep as is and which to change to something easier for calculating. Instead of finding 19% of 71, let's find 20% of 70. Let's find 10% of 70 first by moving the decimal point one place to the left. So I'll write down the number 70, locate the decimal in 70. Remember when you don't see one, it's at the end. So put it at the end and let's move it one place to the left. And we get 7. Now since 10% of 70 is 7, that means 20% is twice as much. So we can multiply this number by 2. 7 times 2 is 14. 
So 19% of 71 is approximately 14. And in fact, 19% of 71 is 13.49. So our estimate is very good indeed. Let's estimate 3% of 19. Now since we're estimating, we can decide what numbers to keep as is and which to change to something easier for calculating. So let's keep 3% this time, but change 19 to 20. So we're going to find 3% of 20. Now let's find 1% of 20 first by moving the decimal two places to the left. So we'll write down the number 20, locate the decimal in 20. Remember when you don't see one, it's at the end and then move it two places to the left, once and twice, and we get 0 0.2. So if 1% of 20 is 0 0.2, that means 3% is three times as much, so we can multiply that number by three. Now ignoring the decimals in our multiplication, we know that two times three is six, so I can write down the six, and we know our answer has to have a decimal place in it. And since the 2 we multiplied is actually 0 0.2, we have to have one decimal place in our answer. So our estimated answer is 0 0.6. In fact, 3% of 19 is 0 0.57. So our estimate is very good. Let's work one final problem now. Doug and Leslie spent $43.67 for dinner at a restaurant estimate the amount of a 15% tip. Since we're estimating, we can decide what numbers to keep as is and which to change to something easier for calculating. So let's keep 15%, but I'm going to change $43.67 to $44. That means we're going to find 15% of 44. First, let's find 10% of 44 by moving the decimal one place to the left. So write down the number 44, locate the decimal in 44, we know it's at the end since we don't see one, and we're going to move it one place to the left. That gives us 4.4. Since 4.4 is 10% of 44, then 5% is going to be half as much, or 2.2. Now 10% plus 5% will give us our total tip of 15%. So adding our two estimates together will give us the dollar amount of a 15% tip, 6.6. .6. The tip would be approximately $6.60 on a $43.67 bill. Congratulations, you've learned how to estimate when using percentages.